So here's one, three, eight, three, five homes. Home is gorgeous. And over here, you can kind of see some cool fog sitting on the lower parts of Colorado Springs. And you can call it the valley, I guess, but that's where main, the main city actually is. So that's kind of cool. I'll show you the yard to start with. So here's a three car garage. You can see this has a higher garage door. Well, no, you can't because it's sun glare. There we go. So that's got a higher garage door, which means you can be able to park a bigger truck, maybe a small RV, but the backyard and you can always plant more trees as time goes on back here because it's, it's partial burn area tennis court volleyball court basketball court whatever you want that to be used for but i would say when I mean, you end up buying this one just start planting five six seven eight nine ten trees a year so trees grow back in all right let's head inside all right, so here we are. <clears throat> Excuse me, got a frog in my throat. We're gonna head into the house. So this is entrance here. Got a nice mirror at the front. Say hello. Man, they want us to take off our shoes, so I will take off my shoes. All right, so the first door. And this one already feels more like a million dollar home than that last one I filmed yesterday, the 9,000 square foot one. It's because of some of the finishes. Formal dining room. Kitchen, which we'll come to in a second. Laundry room. Kind of cool looking brick type floor. Half bath off the laundry. And a three car garage. And they do have another garage, allegedly, which I am going to hope to find. So I, it's a little bigger than a standard three car. Nothing crazy, but just a little bit bigger. All right, so here's the door going to the outside. We already saw the outside for the most part, but I'll do a quick peek. To tell you, they ask you to take your shoes off when you go into the house, but then you have to walk outside again. So, yeah, there's that. Oh, the garage might be down at the lower level underneath the part over there, but we'll come to that. I mean, a lot of usable space, good size yard. So, I mean, the dogs would love it out here. All right, let's head. And that goes to the garage. Let's head back in. All right. So let's check out the kitchen. Now, once again, this one looks more like a million dollar kitchen than the home yesterday. Ooh, I already forgot on. Oh, I drew a blank on the name of the home. But it was a 9,000 square foot one with a big pool. This one's got a ton of cabinet space ton I mean, nice stove top good finishes like a nice sink <laughs> so this one's definitely more of the million dollar type of home than the other one was so this is going to serve as the pantry this one and that would be pantries. I'm nope. This is a fridge. Change my take. I retract my statement. That one's probably the pantry. Yeah, this is the built-in fridge. Then I mean, this could probably here be a pantry if you wanted it to be. They obviously have it as a little storage room. Yeah. So this is what they're using as their pantry. But you got a lot of cabinet space in here, so you got options. And I've noticed the architecture on the ceilings. Pretty nice. So it sort of speaks for itself in here.
And it's fortunate there are still some trees here. Burn didn't take all of it. All right, so over here you got a nice, nice guest bathroom. You got, they have this as their office, but could definitely be a bedroom due to the closet. Nice architecture in the ceiling. Once again, this one just feels more like a million dollar home than the other home we looked at yesterday. So master, pretty big. Not huge, but big. Got a gas fireplace. They have a king size bed. Nice view out to the back. Once again, a closet that looks more like a million dollars than that last one. I think the, excuse me, I think the pool made it more expensive than that. And that's just the overall largeness of the home. A nice bidet. Two sinks, whereas the other one didn't have two sinks. Then around the corner, you got your shower. Dual shower heads. So yeah, so this is the master. Once again, nice architectural features. All right, let's check out the rest of the house. Let's go downstairs. Once again, nice features here. Let's go this way first. So closet, nice high ceilings, great views from the basement. I can't really see because that was a horrible video shot. There you go. Great views from the basement. So essentially, it's another master. Uh, more, maybe more of a Jack and Jill. We'll go that route. Because I'm walking through this home as you are. So toilet. And then we have the other bedroom. So it attaches to the bedrooms as well as to the hallway. So it is a guest bath, but it's also a Jack and Jill setup. So I know it's got you twisted around here. So that door goes to the other bedroom. That is another bedroom. And here we're back in the main area where we started. Stairs going upstairs. So we walked through that bedroom, came out that bedroom. So here's the walkout. And I'm not going to go outside here. I'll just show you a little video of that. All right. Now let's check out. Let's see what these doors are. Storage. More storage. Let's check out the rest of this. So this could be another kitchen. They got a hook up there for... Um, the water for the fridge, sink, 220 over here for the washer dryer. So I don't know if I saw a laundry room. I think we did see a laundry room upstairs. So they have two laundry rooms. Did we see a laundry room upstairs? Yeah, we did. Totally did. So that's set up. It's a little bit of a movie room. Speakers. All around. Ooh, here's the utility room. So as you can see, it's gonna be the radiant heating. So we got that. 
That was a loud close. So once again, laundry room we already saw. All right, so that's the basement. Let's continue upstairs. We are back upstairs. So once again, family room, kitchen, which is gorgeous. And just to make sure, yeah, laundry room's down here. Dining room. And laundry room, okay. So there's two laundry rooms. So downstairs you can make into a kitchen, if ever need be. <coughs> so this just kind of ends. <laughs> All right, linen closet. Kind of a study storage under there. Nice view of the city. Here we got essentially a master. Then another master. And that's it. So you have two bedrooms upstairs, one on the two on the main because they're office. And then you got two in the basement. So we're out here in the front. I think there's another garage down here. Boy, there's a lot of dogs next door. They said there was another garage in this house. And right there. Let's see if I can figure out how to get in. All right. So this garage here is just a storage. It's not, it's like a workshop. So that's on the back of the house. So here's the yard all around you. Then they have this extra, essentially storage, but it could be a workshop, whatever. Sprinkler system, controls. So, yeah. And that is the house.